led to well pushed in a line passing through x1 y1 and x comma k a line passes through the points x1 y1 and x comma k a slope of the line is m a slope of the line can also be found out using the formula y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 whereas this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 so k minus y1 upon uh, x minus x1 is equal to x If I cross multiply that, I will get uh, k minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x, and this was your proof. This is what we have to prove that so that k minus uh, k minus y1 is equal to m in uh, m into x minus x. Let's understand the thirteenth question. If there are three points. If the three points x comma zero, a comma b, and zero comma k uh, lies on the line, so I can say that the given three points a x comma zero b a b and if c Zero comma k are collinear. Right. So slope of AB line is equal to slope of uh, BC line. So y two minus y one upon x two minus x one is equal to Y two minus y one upon x two minus x i. But for uh, this, uh, this will be k minus b upon zero minus a. Whereas, you no, know, I did this for uh, b c. Uh, for a b will be uh, b minus zero upon a minus x. Whereas for this it will be k minus b upon zero uh, minus k. So b upon uh, we we'll cross multiply this uh, b into minus a is equal to a minus x into k minus b. I so will get minus a b and a k. Minus a b minus h k plus h b minus a b minus a b will get cancel out, and I will have a k plus h b is equal to h k. So dividing by h k, I will get. A k upon h k plus h b upon h k h k upon h b. So we get a a by h plus b by k is equal to what? And this is your proof. Uh, this is what we have to show. In fourteen, the question we have to consider one graph given. Consider the following population and year graph. Find the slope of the line AB, and using it, find 
what will be the population in the year 2010 so the line passes through two points a uh, 1985 92 see how we will read this point a, a, a as in year 1985 uh, the population of that city was uh, 92 guru and b point is 1995 uh, the slow uh, the B point here, that is Y coordinate is 97. So in 1995, uh, the population of that city was 97 crore. So if we are interested in finding the slope of line AB, then the formula will be Y2 minus Y1 upon X2 minus X1. So 97 minus 92 upon 1995 minus 1985. So here it will be 5 and here it will be 10. The slope of this line is 1 by 2. Now we will assume that let the population. in year 2010 B X crores therefore point C 2010 comma X will lie on the same line therefore points a b and c will be collinear points and therefore the slope of a b will be equal to slope of b c the slope of AB we know that it is R and for this I will apply Y2 minus Y1 upon X2 minus X1 so here it will be 15 Cross multiply then I will have 15 by 2 plus 97 is equal to x. So this is 7.5 plus 97 is equal to x. So I will have x is equal to 104 .5. So the population in year 2010 is 104.5 See, We will understand various forms of uh, equation of line uh, in that uh, the first uh, form is if your line is horizontal and vertical lines. If I plot a Cartesian coordinate uh, system and in 
mark these points, this will be 3 comma 0. If I take this, then it will be 3 comma 1. If I take this, then it will be 3 comma 2. If I take this, then it will be 3 comma 3. If this is your 1, 2, 3. And if I take this, then it will be 3 comma minus 1. If this is your minus 1, it will be 3 comma minus 2. If this is your minus 2. See what do you observe? That here your x coordinate is not changing. If I connect these all points, then I will get a line which is parallel to y axis. And y axis is itself a vertical line. So this is your vertical line. So I can uh, say that the equation of this vertical line is x is equal to 3. So you can see that uh, the line which is parallel to y axis or which is vertical line you will not have uh, a y term in that equation uh, whereas <coughs> if you consider this point so This is your point 0, 3. This is your point uh, 1, 3. This is your point uh, 3, uh, 2, 3. This is your point 3, 3. This is your point 4, 3. This is your point 5, 3. So if I connect them all, then I will get a line which is parallel to x axis and one more thing you can notice over here is that uh, their y coordinate is not changing <clears throat> so i can say that the equation of this line is y is equal to 3 so this is your horizontal line so if you have a horizontal line then the equation of that line will not have x coordinate uh, your x term in that equation so if your line is uh, a vertical line then the equation will be x is equal to some constant and if it if it is a, a horizontal line then it will be a uh, y is equal to some constant right now we will define uh, second form that is uh, point slope form. See if you are, you are given the passing point and the slope of a line. Let's say the line passes through x1 y1 and uh, you are also aware of the slope that is m then equation of line uh, will be y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 this is the condition when you can find the equation of line uh, given that uh, you know the passing point and and the slope of a line suppose if you don't know the slope of a line and you are given uh, two passing points then this will be uh, two point form so if the line passes through uh, x1 y1 and x2 y2 then equation of line in that case will be y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 this is the equation of line uh, when 
you have uh, two points. Now let's uh, try to understand the fourth case, uh, which is low intercept form. Low intercept form means uh, uh, you know the slope of the line plus uh, the point uh, at which this line cuts the y-axis or the distance of this line from the origin on y-axis that is called y-intercept here it is not uh, written but you should always consider y-intercept only so if your slope is m then your y-intercept that is uh, the point at which this line will cut y-axis that is your uh, y-intercept suppose if your y-intercept is c then the equation of line uh, will be y is equal to mx plus Right, so this is the equation of line. So you will apply this different forms when you are given with different conditions, right? Yeah. So your fifth form is intercept form. Uh, in that uh, previous case, you are knowing just y-intercept. Here you should know x-intercept and y-intercept. That is the points in which this line will get x-axis and y-axis. Let's say uh, this is cutting in uh, uh, x-axis at uh, a comma zero, whereas it uh, intercepts the y-axis at point 0 comma b therefore your y-intercept will be b whereas your x-intercept will be a so if you are knowing your x intercept and y intercept then in that case you can find the equation of line using formula x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 whereas the last is the normal form in this case uh, you should know the perpendicular distance of this line from the origin let's say the perpendicular distance of this line from the origin is p and the angle made by this uh, perpendicular line with the positive direction of x axis in anti clockwise direction is theta so you should know these two parameters that is the perpendicular distance of this line uh, from origin and the angle made by the perpendicular with the positive direction of x axis in anti clockwise direction if you know these two parameters then also you can find the equation of line in that in this case the formula will be x cos theta plus y sin theta is equal to p suppose see if your line is in second quadrant then this will be your perpendicular and the angle you should consider is this Suppose your line is in third quadrant, 
then your perpendicular distance uh, will be this whereas the angle you should consider consider will be this and if your line is in fourth quadrant then the perpendicular will be this and uh, the angle you should consider will be that will be this so these are the different forms of uh, uh, of equation of line and you will apply accordingly and the given condition uh, the given condition will fit in uh, one of the forms and you will apply that form to find the equation of line